It's been argued by many writers that pinning a good short story is much harder than writing an entire novel. With the latter, there's plenty of space to unpack character, theme, and plot. With a short story, however, every word counts. The best short stories speak volumes within a few slim pages. To that end, there are a smattering of short stories that stand out from the crowd. Admittedly, it is difficult to call them the best short stories because quality is subjective. But rest assured that those you'll find recommended here are almost universally considered some of the most important little works of literature ever thanks to some combination of their revolutionary style, timeless storytelling, or influence on nearly all writers to follow. Some of these are classic tales that have been beloved for decades while others are from current authors who are still breaking literary ground today, but they are truly great short stories one and all. 1. The Telltale Heart by Edgar Allan Poe Few genres have made as much use of the short story format as horror, and it's difficult to say that any such writer stands above Poe. Known for pinning many gothic masterpieces, The Telltale Heart is Poe's most renowned short story. Narrated by a murderer whose sanity gradually slips as he meditates on his crime and is haunted by the beating heart of his victim, this story helped to set the standard for early gothic romanticism. 2. The Lottery by Shirley Jackson First released in The New Yorker in 1948, The Lottery is a masterwork of grim atmosphere and troubling themes. The story of a small village lottery the winner of which will be stoned to death it almost single-handedly created the modern concept of gothic horror thanks to its gloomy atmosphere and use of thought-provoking, disturbing irony. 3. The Yellow Wallpaper by Charlotte Perkins Gilman Published in 1892, The Yellow Wallpaper is another classic of early modern gothic horror, though it emphasizes psychological distress over some of the more fantastic elements embraced by Gilman's peers. The tale of a woman who is confined to her bedroom as part of a rest cure for her so-called hysteria, as the narrator slips into madness she becomes increasingly enamored by the yellow color of her room. Considered a cornerstone of early American feminist writing, its commentary on the oppressive impact of patriarchy remains relevant to this day. 4. Giovanni's Room by James Baldwin Towing the line between short story and novella, this semi-autobiographical narrative centers around a young American living in Paris whose affections are torn between his girlfriend and an Italian bartender named Giovanni. Not only is this a wonderfully written work by one of the 20th century's greatest black thinkers, writers, and activists, but it is held in high regard for its open and complex portrayal of bisexuality and same-sex relationships. 5. The Dead by James Joyce The most renowned installment in Joyce's Dubliners, The Dead is about a young Irishman whose family holds him in the highest regard thanks to his practicality and level-headedness. When he attends a party, however, his principles are challenged as he is pushed to confront his own mortality. Arguably the famed writer's most accessible work, it nonetheless shows his ability to bury deep themes and seemingly straightforward stories. 6. The Metamorphosis by Franz Kafka Not only is The Metamorphosis one of the greatest short stories ever written, but it was an important forebearer of the Surrealist movement that would emerge shortly after its publication in 1915. The story of a salesman who wakes up one morning to find, much to his alarm, that he has turned into a beetle, there has been much debate over its meaning, but all agree that it is a masterful look at alienation in the modern age. 7. Hills Like White Elephants by Ernest Hemingway Papa Hemingway wrote several short stories that could be ranked among the best of all time, but Hills Like White Elephants is perhaps his most brilliant effort thanks to how he talks directly about a subject without ever bringing it up at all. The story of a young couple waiting for a train as they discuss some never-clarified operation, it is nevertheless obvious that the man is attempting to pressure the woman into having an abortion. It is a masterpiece of subtlety and simplicity from a writer who is perhaps the greatest at packing an abundance of meaning into a minimal word count. 8. A Good Man is Hard to Find by Flannery O'Connor If Hemingway and Carver make up two points of the holy trinity of great American short story writing, Flannery O'Connor is the third. 
She's also wildly regarded as the greatest of Southern Gothic writers. Without a doubt her most famous work is A Good Man is Hard to Find, which tells the story of an arguing family that ends up stranded after a car crash, with horrible consequences. These eight books narrated now are some of the best short story books. I've given links of every books in the description of this video. Do check it out. At last, thank you for watching this video. Have a nice day.